earlier this year i said we will finally have a model that is almost as good as the closed source models like gpt4 or cloud 3 back then more than halfway through the year we already have llama 3.1 the 405 billion parameter model is better than cloud 3.5 sonnet which is the top and the most intelligent model by anthropic and i think to a certain extent it's also better than gpt4 or gpt40 per se so if you look at the introduction page and i'm gonna also show you how to run the model locally so stick around uh, because it's not going to take too long it's going to take around five minutes the model has a context length of 128k which is equivalent to the context length of gpt40 mini it supports eight languages the launch also includes 405 billion parameter model its first frontier level open source model which matches the performance of Claude 3.5 Sonnet which is a closed source model. Obviously there is other info with respect to the safety and other details but if you are based in the US you can already try Llama 3.1405 billion on your WhatsApp and you can ask things like challenging math or coding based questions. Now initially when Llama 3 came out the good thing about the model was the fact that it was great at math and reasoning. Both of these things are required in order to achieve AGI which is the you know ultimate goal of a lot of researchers and companies out there. And with Llama 3.1 all of this is only bulked way more especially the 4 or 5 billion parameter model and you can see benchmarks here. In MMLU which is reasoning parameter all, all three here are reasoning based. And you can see it beats or is on par with all the top models right now. It's almost as good as GPT-40 Mini. You can see it's 0.1 percentage is where it's behind. And then on the MMLU, it's almost as good as GPT-40 Mini, but relatively falls short when it comes to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. On this other evaluation method, it scores 88.6. Now on the code side, Claude 3.5 Sonnet performs better, but you can see the 4 or 5 billion parameter is almost as good as the GPT-40 Mini. On the math side, it beats even Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which I'm not surprised because the initial version of Llama 3 was also great at math. So this seems to be like a more fine-tuned version of Llama 3 and it's going to be better at math. Then there is the other math parameter where it's almost as good as or and better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet and almost as good as GPT-40 Mini. Now there's the ARC challenge and this is a very important challenge here, right? Because this allows models to see how they are progressing on the path of AGI. There's like a whole, you know, challenge going on around ARC where if you are able to build a model that is good and scores more than 80 i believe then you get a grand prize of 1 million dollars right so you can see the model performs really really well even better than claude 3.5 sonnet or gpt4 omni and you can see other benchmarks here as well where it, where we talk about the long content the multilingual content and the tool use which is i think the function calling here essentially it allows and beats you know popular closed source models on a bunch of different parameters now if you look at the smaller variant of llama 3.1 which is the 8 billion again it has three different variants the 8 billion parameter i believe uh, there is 4 or 5 billion and 70 billion parameter which is i think similar to what they also had previously it beats all the other models on almost all the parameters only you know a few days back i was reviewing how llama 3 compared with gemma 3 and we figured out that gemma sorry llama 3 compared with gemma 2 and we figured out that gemma 2 was actually Actually better than Llama 3 but in the new benchmarks that you see for Llama 3.1 it beats Gemma on all parameters and it also beats Mistral 7 being struck and even the 70 billion parameter beats GPT 3.5 turbo which is a closed source model that a lot of people used until very recently before GPT 4 or mini came out you can see on the human evaluation standpoint Llama 3.1 beats GPT-4 in almost all the tests that were performed. It beats GPT-4 on 19.1 and it beats GPT-4 Omni on 19.1 percentage of tests. It ties on 51.7 percentage of tests but it loses on 29.2 percent. Similarly for Claude 3 Sonnet it beats 24 almost 25 percent of the tests better than it in 50 or ties with it in 50 percent of the test and loses on 24 percent of the tests. So again these both of these are top closed source models while Llama 3.1405 billion is something that you can download locally and you know start using yourself which is insane because if you are able to run this model locally in a more scalable manner manner obviously there is a catch like there always is but if you are able to run this on cloud then you don't have the dependency of using models like gpt4 omni or gpt4 or even cloud 3.5 sonnet obviously there are there's going to be catch like it always has 
and most people will not need the four or five billion parameter model for tasks rather models like 70 or 8 billion parameter is something that people will use they also shared their you know communication made by the ceo of meta which is mark zuckerberg and he kind of says and compares the evolution of ai today similar to that of linux which eventually surpassed the closed source unix systems right so he believes that over time open source ai is going to beat closed source ai in its direct shots at gpts and clouds because he believes that at some point we will have models that are almost as good as these models and people will not feel the need to buy or use closed source models in the future. Obviously, they also talk about how it's beneficial not just for the uh, developers outside, but also meta overall because it kind of gives them the uh, ability to tap into the minds of world's top software developers without employing them because a lot of people will now use these models that are open source and will give feedback about the model, right? So with, which will overall help them improve the quality of the model and build a model that is, you know, completely open source moving towards the path to AGI and is secure and safer overall. So again, you can go ahead and read more about the communication here. They have a paper in here. But I'm going to show you how you can run Llama 3.1 locally if you want to right now. It's ready to run right now, right? So go to olama.com. This is a framework that we'll use in order to run the model and go ahead and download the framework. You can choose whichever operating system you have. Uh, I have Mac OS, so I'm going to download it here. Once this is downloaded and installed, this is all you need in order to run the model. Now go to the models section in here and you will directly find Llama 3.1 ready to use right so go ahead and click on llama 3.1 and in here you will see a command that says olama run llama 3.1 now like i said there are multiple variants of this model there is the 8 billion parameter 70 billion parameter and 4 or 5 billion parameter model 4 or 5 parameter billion model is the model that beats Claude 3.5 sonnet and gpt4 omni on multiple parameters but it also means that this model is very heavy you can see this is 231 gp so if you're planning to run this locally on a use case basis then it's not going to be ideal because this is is going to occupy a crazy amount of space in your PC. It, no problem if you have it. Plus running these models also requires you to have good GPU or a CPU in order to support the processing power these models consume. So in my opinion, like having a smaller model for easier tasks. So for example, I want to use it for one of my extension that generate AI, generates AI powered comments. For me, 8 billion model works, but if you want to test the 200 or the 4 or 5 billion parameter model, go ahead and click here, which will essentially change the command that says and looks something like this, but I'm going to keep this to 8 billion. All right. So now go ahead and open your terminal that in Mac you can do using command plus space and then typing terminal in here. On Windows, you will have to do run and then CMD, which will open the command prompt for you. Now in here, copy this command and then paste that command here. I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to continue to, you know, do Olama run 3.1. Now, one thing that is not explicitly clear here is that if you plan to download the larger model, let's say the 405 billion parameter model, which is 231 GB, you will probably not stick around for the download to complete, right? You will want to come back later when the download is done so that, you know, you don't have to wait <laughs> while the download is happening. So for that, what you should ideally do is instead of doing Olama run you should do olama pull llama 3.1 and then 405 billion if you're planning to not be around while the download is going on right either ways it's good practice to pull the model and then run it later once the download is complete so that you don't end up wasting uh, your laptop energy while you're not around and the download is done and the model is running so let's just do olama run llama 3.1 right now and because the model is downloaded for me, it's not going to be downloading anything new. It's going to just mount the model that I already have on me. And you can see, I can start talking to the model. If it's not downloaded, you will see download bar appear and that will download 4.7 GB model. Uh, as you can see here, if you download 70 billion, it's going to be 40 GB. So depending on what you would want to download, right? Now, once the download is complete, uh, you will see an option to type or send a message here, which is now you effectively talking to the model. So let's say I'm going to say hi. So you can see the model now responded and you can basically chat with the model just like you would talk to Claude or GPT or chat GPT or Claude interface right now from this point on what you can do is you can, you know, essentially start also writing functions. So let's say, can you write a function to sort out even numbers from odd in Python? It will also be able to write the code for you. Obviously the code is not formatted. So 
and again don't have high expectations with the smaller model because the important model here is the larger model which beats these closed source models as well right but again it's ideal for small use cases i use it for you know the extension that i use it's called Lolly. what i will effectively do is connect Lolly with llama 3.1 in this scenario and then generate ai based content on the web so i'm going to show how all of that works in a little bit as well but you can see this is how you can set up llama 3.1 so one of the issues with llama 3 uh, the initial model that I used. So let's say if I go to any of the posts and I try to say something like support, the Llama 3 model sometimes will generate a comment that says, here's a supportive comment for you. And then it will share the comment in double quotes like this here. This issue does not happen when I use Gemma 2 model, but it happens on Llama 3. But I want to test if Llama 3.1 has the same issue because, and this is not just the first case in one of the apps that I created using llama 3 it was a rag chatbot the llama 3 model kept endlessly responding and it kind of made it very hard for me to understand what i can do in order to fix the issue so you can see this is the uh, thing that i was talking about where it says here's a supportive comment in a friendly tone and then it generates this in double quote so this is not what i wanted gemma 2 does not make that mistake only llama 3 does so i've gone ahead and i've added the support for llama 3.1 model and let's just check if we can see it here you can see Llama 3.1 is now available. And then once I select the model, I'm going to test if it makes the same mistake. I'm actually going to also check if I can create like a chat bot or rag based chat bot using Llama 3.1 to see if the comment that is generated is better or similar to what Gemma 2 does. Ideally, I don't want any extra info, which is what I've been struggling with Llama 3 for a long time now with a bunch of different issues as well. So I hope, yeah. And this actually does work as expected because there are no double quotes, no extra info. And plus the comment that is generated also seems better than the one that Gemma 2 was generating. So initial thoughts on generating one comment, obviously I'll do more testing on this, but let me go ahead and try this out here. Again, like I said, this initial uh, feedback, but yeah, there you go. So it's again added this, here's a supportive short comment and so on. So I did not necessarily see this issue with Gemma, but it seems that the issue will continue to happen in Llama 3.1. In certain scenarios, obviously I'll have to do some more prompt engineering in the backend, but the initial few generations were promising. This was, I only showed you two of the generations. I did a few more with Llama 3.1. I can tell you this is better than Llama 3 for sure, even on benchmarks and on the quality of response that is generated. So that's how you set up Llama 3.1 in your local system right now. Again, you can do this on Windows using same set of commands. But I hope this video was helpful and you were able to set this up in your local system. If there are any questions, feel free to let me know, but I'll see you guys in the next one.